a young Honduran woman who was detained in Texas last month gave birth to a stillborn son, and the administration is not considering that boy as an in-custody death. A 24-year-old woman whose name and other identifying details are being withheld for privacy reasons reported being six months pregnant when U.S. Border Patrol apprehended her in southern Texas last month. A few days later, while being processed for release by ICE, the woman went into premature labor and delivered a stillborn baby boy in a Texas detention center. U.S. Immigration and Enforcement, or ICE, and U.S. Customs and Border Protection recently released a joint statement about this incident and said, quote, for investigative and reporting purposes, a stillbirth is not considered an in-custody death. ICE has not returned our multiple requests for comment or for additional information, nor have they made public the circumstances surrounding her detention. Bishop Mark Seitz of the Diocese of El Paso, Texas, is a consultant for the U.S. Bishops Pro-Life Committee and joins us now. Your Excellency, thank you for being here. Pleasure to be here, Kathleen. This is a tough story, and first off, I just want to get your reaction. What is your reaction to this news? Well, it's just sad on so many levels because uh, we certainly have concerns about the, everyone's treatment mm -hmm. uh, as they're crossing the border, mm -hmm. uh, you know, treating pregnant women and children uh, as though they are criminals and creating a situation in which they are being um, uh, punished, mm -hmm. really, for fleeing to our border is a big concern. Mm -hmm. But now what we're seeing is situations in which people's lives are being lost in this custody situation. Mm -hmm. the, the circumstances of, uh, that they're placed in in detention are very, very difficult and uh, hard for a healthy young man or mm -hmm. healthy young woman, but for a woman who's six months pregnant, uh, much more difficult and, and risky. Mm. Unfortunately, our, our government has chosen to um, uh, detain pregnant women, mm. whereas before they were released on parole to go through their court process. That is a new policy change, which we will get to shortly. And when it comes to this specific news story, ICE and U.S. Customs and Border Protection are not classifying this stillbirth, this stillborn baby boy, as an in-custody death. Can you respond right. to that specific aspect of the story? Certainly. So it seems that even in an administration that is recognizing the right to life, mm -hmm. sometimes that message isn't getting out on all levels of government, right? And uh, so we see where that child that, that we understand, we know, was a living human being in his mother's womb. Uh, when that child dies, somehow the personhood and therefore the life of that child is not considered mm. somehow important mm. and a, de a death somehow is not reported. Although clearly when you see that six month old mm -hmm. unborn child, uh, what else, mm -hmm. what else mm -hmm. was that child mm -hmm. but, a, but, a, but a person? When this news first broke, abortion advocates online were criticizing the pro-life movement and assuming that they would not be upset and outraged over this news story. But Your Excellency, can you clarify how we as pro-life Catholics view the sanctity of every life and mourn the loss of every life? Citizenship does not con convey uh, personhood, mm. <laughs> you know, whatever circumstance the person is in does not convey personhood. Rich or poor, uh, whatever class or uh, race, mm -hmm. uh, we believe that God brought life to that child. Mm. And while we do not know many specific details about this case and this specific woman, we do know there has been a policy change in this administration so that within the Department of Homeland Security, there is no longer a presumption of release for all pregnant detainees. And instead, ICE will do a case-by-case -case custody determination for pregnant women who are detained. What is your reaction to this policy change? Well. It's really moving the wrong direction, right? Mm. 
we recognize that every human life has dignity and, uh, and especially the most vulnerable. Mm. So here is a case where that um, unborn child and that child's dignity wasn't fully recognized and it still is not being fully recognized. Mm. And that led, I think it's not too much to assume, that led to that woman's pregnancy not being mm -hmm. perhaps cared for. And the fact that she wasn't placed in a more, in a situation where she could really uh, safely bring that child to birth. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here, Bishop Mark Seitz. It's a pleasure to be with you.